This is Kings Over Life magazine. We're back at Rogue Festival today, and we are interviewing Shanna. Tell us about your show. Oh my god, my show is exhausting and so much fun. Uh, Dancing with Demons, a comedy of sorts. It's a one person fairy tale that goes amiss when the villain breaks out, takes the writer out, and restructures the story. So it kind of takes all of your uh, preconceived ideas of archetypes and stories and trashes it all. Um, it looks like it would be such a challenge to play all these different roles all in one show. Mm -hmm. Well, it was really fun. And actually, the, the show came out of the characters. Um, I actually created these characters first, just in the studio. I, I teach a lot of acting and physical theater at okay. Boulder Ballet. And so it was kind of an investigation, like what happens when I create these characters? And then I worked with an amazing director, just a wonderful woman named Claire Patton, who helped me sort of draw out just improvisational stories from the characters, and they each sort of had something to say about the world. And from this uh, improv, just in the studio, we started to craft the actual tale that you just saw today. How interesting. Yeah. Now, um, it looked quite exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, 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 it's definitely cardio, but it's, it's great fun. It's great fun. How is it as an actor to be going back and forth between these different characters and these different emotions? Mm -hmm. it, what is that like? Well, it's definitely something that takes a lot of practice, but I think I had the advantage of working with such an amazing director that helped me really ground the characters really deep. I mean, they all came out of my own brain and my own body, so I know them very intimately. And then it's just it's just like practice, muscle memory, like like any anything you need to practice. So. Now, have you done this particular show at other festivals? Yeah, I did it at the Seattle Fringe earlier this year, and um, actually last August, September. Uh, and I'm going to do it at the Boulder Fringe Festival in September as well. And how did you get into doing shows at festivals? Um, well, I've been doing theater for most of my life, and um, I didn't catch on to the Fringe World until a little later in the game, but... Um, Really in Boulder, Colorado, about 10 years ago, I, I went to go to school there the same year that they started their Fringe Festival, and I was friends with a lot of people who were running the Fringe Festival, and they sort of got me excited about the whole Fringe thing, and then I went to Orlando Fringe with Gemma, actually, after co-directing Shadows in Bloom, and, you know, it just sort of caught on, caught on after that. And what is it you like best about doing Fringe Festivals? Well, what I love best here, particularly in, in Fresno, there's just such an amazing community that's gathered around, not just a community of artists, but, but a community of supporters. There are so many people here that just w want to see theater, that want to be told stories, that want to know more, and um, so that's just incredible. That's How did you hear about the festival here and, and when? Um, I heard about it several years ago. My, my friend Gemma came out to do the festival here and uh, after I had developed this show with Claire Patton, um, uh, she was just like, yeah, you got to go to Fresno. Fresno would be great. So, Is this I your applied. first time here? Yes, it is. Oh, so it you're is. a first timer. Oh. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And it's funny because I grew up in the Bay Area and uh -huh. so I drove past Fresno all the time to go to my grandparents. So it's awesome to finally see what was at the end of that exit. <laughs> yeah. So, so what's it been like? Is your first time here? It's been really great. Yeah, it's been really exciting to... Well, I'm seeing some people I've met at other festivals, mm -hmm. so that's that's really neat. And I think what I love so much is the people here. Like, I'll, I'll show them a postcard, and they'll say, "Hey, tell me about your show." Like, that's great. People don't say that very often at other festivals. You know, I always feel like I'm kind of sh shoving a card down yeah. someone's throat. And they're like, "Hey, tell me about it." And so the the level of receptivity uh, here, the audience is just fantastic. And how many more performances? Do you um, I'll be performing on Thursday and Friday and Saturday. And let me make sure I actually have the times right. <laughs> Thursday's at 8 p.m., Friday's at 10 p.m., a good late night party. <laughs> and then I close on Saturday at 2.30. And it's all here at the, at the Tower? At the Tower Lounge, yes. All right, great. Well, yes. thank you so much. Thank you.